Oha! Hey, it's Christmas Eve. It is totally non-traditional. I mean, that's a palm tree back there, not a Christmas tree, right? Well, you know, with the way things had gone this year, you know how it's been so weird. I really didn't expect to, like, do a whole lot of Christmas stuff, you know? But, oh, man, I mean, it's just insane. I get this pile in the corner back here of stuff that keeps coming by and coming by. Everybody keeps dropping off stuff, relatives and whatnot, you know? Um, so, I got to go with it. And it helps because one of my neighbors come by, Steve and uh, Vet come by with this stuff. This is a local rum, Koloa. That they uh, from Kauai that they've added uh, coffee. It's from Maui rather, but it's got Kauai coffee in it. Um, it's sort of a Hawaiian version of Kahlua, and uh, it's good. <laughs> this is good stuff. This will get you in the mood. Trust me. Hey, it's Christmas, you know, and so well, liquor is fairly traditional stuff around Christmas. Gifts, and we see a lot of that, bottles of wine and stuff. But hey, the question would be in my mind when it comes to Christmas gifts, what came first, the giving of liquor or the giving of fruitcakes? Now, it's my opinion that a fruitcake is not much good unless you've soaked it in plenty of liquor before you give it away. So um, I figured that the booze came first. But as it being a typical Christmas, so do the fruitcakes. And every year, Ellen gives me one of these from the uh, Trappist monks over there in uh, um, Kentucky. It has been soaked in Kentucky bourbon. Uh, Mitch McConnell eats these too, I think. Uh, this is good. If you're not going to make a fruitcake and you're going to buy one, you want one of those. Yeah, yeah they, they, these guys call themselves uh, uh, Gizmani, uh, Gizmani Trappist. Uh, and so that's that's their uh, their calling. Uh, a bunch of monks in Kentucky that also make some incredible fudge, and the fudge is full of bourbon too. <laughs> These guys, <laughs> you know, I don't know how many people are aware of that, but in, in the dark ages in Europe, uh, distillation of liquor was strictly the business of monks. The the process that was used to turn mash into liquor was only kept in the monasteries. <laughs> so the monasteries were the distillers in the Dark Ages. And for some of the monks, they're still at it. Yeah, so I figure, well, you know, one fruitcake, yeah, that's enough for the holidays. I got most of that one finished, you know. But what happens? Uh, 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 uh. The neighbor just showed up in the driveway. And what do I have? Another homemade fruitcake. This one is soaked in rum instead of Kentucky bourbon. Uh, so they just keep coming at me. I have to laugh every time I hear Larry the Cable Guy talk about how they use fruitcakes to block up the house trailers. <laughs> so, uh, and so, I'm telling you, I hope to heck this is not a fruitcake. It is shaped like a fruitcake, and it worries me. You see the red stickers on it. This thing is heavy. When it showed up at the post office yesterday, the parking lot was filled. It was crazy. And so I had to borrow a hand truck to get this thing out to my car across the street. But it says something here on the front about made in China. And so I really hope it's not a fruitcake. Uh, if it is, it's the heaviest fruitcake on earth. And so I thought, since this is such a mystery, I'm going to go ahead and open it in front of the camera. And so I understand from Ellen that this came from my son, Alex. And it's kind of a weird coincidence, too, because it was shipped from Centerville, California. Um, that's where we used to live. And so I don't know what's going on here. This is pretty strange. Because uh, my son lives in Madison, Wisconsin. So he didn't ship it from Centerville. It better not be a fruitcake. Half a mile, huh? Well, that sounds like Ace Hardware. <laughs> Who am I got here? Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't open this on the camera. It's an absolute mystery. What are we dealing with? It's all kinds of stuff. That's a threaded shaft. These thread. Huh? Uh-oh, I'm clueless. I thought... I like oh, I know what it is! Ah! Uh, I told my son that I was having some trouble with my muscles deteriorating with age 
and that I was, you know, hurting myself, my Achilles tendon when it's climbing up and off the roof. And he says, man, you know, you got to work out more. I said, I know, I hate the gym. There's the COVID and all that. I said, I used to like lifting weights when I was in high school. Um, guess what? I got barbells. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you, Alex. I'll use them. We'll put them to use over here. I'll have to lift weights at least once a day. I guess I better put them out in the carport. <laughs> Aloha. We got way more Christmas back here. I might show up later on today with something else. But today's video, since this is the Green Garden Guy, is really all about fruitcakes. If you don't know what to do with all them fruitcakes, like Larry the Cable Guy, block up your trailer. You got an old pickup, no wheels. Put it up. Keep the termites from eating the tires. Aloha. Hang loose.